All right, let's keep going. Um, so here's another question. This is also directly from a textbook, and I suggest the same thing. You watch me do it, then you go away, you try it yourself, and then if you have trouble, go back to the video. But try and sort of problem solve it yourself. Um, so I've got 25 markers placed on a line, um, and they're one and a half metres apart, and there's this box that's holding the markers, um, and it's 20 metres from the point at which I first put down a marker. Man, I found that really hard to understand the first time I read it. So here's the box. Um, you're going to walk along the probably the oval or whatever it is, um, and then you're going to put your first marker down 20 metres away, and the next one is an extra one and a half metres away. The next one is another one and a half. We're going to keep placing them down away from the box. Um, so obviously we're walking each time we're picking up a new one. Um, write down a rule for the distance, D of N, of the nth marker from the box. So the distance of whichever marker we're looking for from the box. This N thing, this nth thing, now, that just basically means we're looking for the general rule. We don't want to know a specific marker. We don't want to know the third marker. We just want to know the nth marker. Um, how far will the ninth marker be? Well, we can figure that out. Um, let's just start and we'll see how we go with the first two. So, um, A was 20. The, the starting distance was 20. Um, that was 20 metres, the first marker. And then each extra marker is 1.5, so our difference should be 1.5. Um, there you go, there's 1.5. So now that I have the A and the D, I can make a formula pretty easy. I've used D of N instead of T of N because the question gave me D of N, distance of N. You can see that's in the question, um, just there. We usually we'd use T of N, but it's asking for the distance, so we'll go D of N. Um, so D of N equals A plus N minus 1D. That's the formula, and then we put in our blanks, we use our calculator to expand it, and that tells us our general formula is 1.5N plus 18.5. Now, that's nothing new. You've seen that a few times before. If you're still not sure what I did there, go back to some previous videos. If you're still not sure, come and ask me, and I reckon we'll pick it up pretty quick. Uh, question B, how far will the ninth marker be from the box? Um, so we're looking for not the first, not the second, not the third, all the way up to the ninth marker. So nine extra lots of 1.5. Um, so we put that in the formula. Nine is our N in our formula. Um, that, that's the formula there without putting anything in. Uh, we just expanded it and told us it was 32. You could use your calculator for that. So the ninth marker is 32 metres from the block, um, from the box. And you might want to say that, but 32 will get you the marks regardless. So question C says, if the last marker is to be placed 50 metres from the box, how many markers can we have or will we need to put on our line? Because they've got to be one and a half metres apart. So we need to find when the total amount, not the sum, just the total amount of markers, the distance, or the total distance, equals 50. So we're still looking in, in terms of a sequence, not a series. Um, we're still looking in terms of a total single distance. Um, let's, let's find the T of N when it equals 50. So the total distance is 50 metres. We're going to find out where this D of N, the distance, um, is 50. So we're going to make the whole equation equal 50 and find out what the N equals. And you would use your CAS to do that. It would solve it for N and tell you it's 21. So the amount of markers we need is 21. That 21st marker will be exactly 50 metres from that box. So if you kept putting markers down all the way up to the 21st, that's 50 metres from this box. So the first one was 20 metres, the second one was 21.5, the 21st was 50 metres. Um, this is where it gets a little bit more complicated, but not really. Uh, the markers are really heavy and you can only carry one at a time. So as a result, you have to collect the first marker from the box, carry it to its position, return it to the box, get the second one, carry it to its position, turn it to the box, get the third one, carry it to its position, turn it to the box, and so on until you put all the markers on the line. So for instance, here's your, you go into the first one, put down the marker, you come back. You go into the second one, you come back. You go into the third one, you come back. Now that's obviously quite time, con um, it's going to take you a lot of time, time consuming, um, but that's just what we have to do. You can actually see this distance is covered twice, there and back, and there and back, and there and back. So we might have to double our answer when we find out. Um, how far we've gone, because usually we'll just find the sum of these distances. So the question is, what is the distance you'll have to walk if you're required to place 30 markers on a line? So if I'm trying to place the 30 markers on, first I've got to go to the first one, and then I've got to go to the second one, and then I've got to go to the third one. Does that make sense that that's a, that's a sum? We're, we're adding the distances, so we add the distance from the first one, and the distance to the second one, and the distance to the third one, and the distance to the fourth one, like we're summing up those terms, we're adding the terms for the first 30 markers. Um, the problem is, just like I alluded to a minute ago, we're actually going there and back. We're kind of summing all the distances, like we magically start here each time. 
But then, because we've got to go back again the same distance, let's double our answer, because you're going there and back. We'll work on that when we get to it. Alrighty. Uh, so, um, we're looking for the 30, 30 markers on the line. So let's find the sum, excuse me, of the first 30. So, n is 30. Let's put my line down my page. And still, um, we've got our A was 20, and our D was 1.5. And do you remember our S of N rule? The sum of the first N equals N on 2. Let me just check I'm still in frame. Um, 2A plus N minus 1D. Just trying to find the sum of the first 30 in this case. Sum of the first 30 is 30 on 2 times 2a, a was 20, plus 30 minus 1, and the difference was 1.5. I'll put a little times there for us. So when I put that all in my calculator, that will equal, uh oh, I haven't done that yet. I better check that in my own calculator. I mean, anyway, I might add that, that answer in later for you, because um, my calculator will take a minute to load. Uh, but once we've got that answer, whatever that answer is, um, we need to double it, because we've got the sum of the distances, but we don't have the sum of like the there and back, we've just got the sum of that first bit. Um, so we've got, I'll just reiterate that one more time, we've got all these sum of the distances to it, but we haven't got the sum of the distances back as well. So we'll need to double our answer. Alright, I've just loaded my calculator, so I might put that in now. One two fifty two point five. One two fifty two point five. So that was the sum of the, the first thirty markers. But we're going back, so we need to double it because we've got to travel that double distance. So two times one twenty five two point five. So our total distance equals. You might be able to double that in your head, even depending on how your skills are. Two thousand five hundred and five. And I might just kind of make that clear for the person assessing total distance. equals 2,505 metres. Quite a long way just to put out 30 markers. Seems almost like it's not worth it.